Hey guys, Thunderstud here, and I'm bringing you a new event deck for our latest uh, Dimension Duels. It's in DSOD. They're going over the story of the movie. We're finally getting their main villain kind of thing. And eventually, in a few days, we're going to get DSOD Yugimoto. You know he's going to be good. It pretty much has to be. He's like almost the main character of this movie. And uh, even the new Seto, he brought a pretty good skill with Alternative Dragon. That's the best way to play Blue Eyes. So I think it's a safe bet to count on this Yugi being good. And uh, we're going really hard in this event. It's one of those damage events where, uh, you know, you just do as much damage to a boss as possible. And that places you and decides how much loot you get. But uh, it's like a home run derby for Duel Links pretty much. And now... They're ranking us. They want you to rank each day in damage. You have to do a certain amount in one go to get a rank. I think it's over 100,000 and some change to get S rank. So the trick is certain monsters do triple damage. Dark Magician, Blue Eyes do triple damage. Egyptian Gods do five times the amount of damage. So Mahad also gets triple damage. Uh, Dark Illusion does not get triple damage. I tried it out, it does not get triple damage, so Mahad's the way to go. Mahad will obviously summon, and his attack still doubles when he's fighting Dark, so he's really the MVP of the deck. But they all just do crazy, crazy amounts of damage, and in Dimension Duels, you're just able to summon them without tributing, so that's really what you want to do. Which leads the rest of the deck to just modify them. We're going Mage Power for massive, massive amounts of attack gain. Big Bang Shot will uh, do piercing. It's a very old card, I understand. It's like a three-year-old card. Uh, and the only alternative I really know of is just as old with Fairy Meteor Crush. I think it's even older. So I understand if you don't have these cards, it's a little hard to get. But it really speeds it up with the pierce damage. We have Double Summon, so you can summon multiple boys. And uh, Wonder Wand for these Dark Magicians, because that's about your weakest monster. You can use it to draw into big bangs or to draw into more monsters and really get the duel to massive damage. So it's the dimension duels where you want to do the most damage. Obviously you get a skill that will increase your attack by five times when you meet a, thir a certain threshold. It's pretty crazy. But this deck is capable of getting you S rank damage without a dimension duel. You'll see in the replays it's super super strong. And there's little tricks to this event that'll help you out along the way. So uh, I hope you guys like this event. I hope you are very successful in it. So when we do need to get Yugimoto, it's nice and easy. And you don't have to worry at all. Finish this event in like a day. So I'll let you guys see in the replays and thanks for watching. Okay, starting this one a little late. We're going second. Our boy has almost 200,000 for us here. Handful of monsters. Pretty rare for this deck. This boy's a dark, so being able to use Mahad is gonna be really good. Here we're getting two Mahads. Special summon one, normal summon the other. That's 9,000 just destroying a monster. 7,500 with that triple. Sets another monster. That, or look, we top deck our Pierce too, so that's pretty perfect. It's good to put Pierce on Mahads, because sometimes you'll run into dark monsters and their attack will jump. Like that would have been a good opportunity there, but we didn't do it. We just put it on the blue eyes. Because usually he'll, he's where you'll want most of the damage. Because he's a slice stronger. But uh, yeah, Mahad with Pierce is also good. So Mahad's just MVP. So we're really just top decking these Dark Magicians. Very, very bad hand. But we're still going to put up massive amounts of damage. So when it's a higher level, he actually does have plays to interact with your board. He will stop your plays. That's okay for us, we're just top decking every monster we have here. So hitting them for massive, massive damage. 9k, 7.5, and 7.5. Slowly inching away, we have one more turn. We've done about 80,000 damage here. Like I said, it's 100,000 and some change. He uh, summons an Evil Swarm Golem to destroy our monster. But like I said, we still have our Dark Magician. Now we use Beatdown. Mahad's going to triple or double his attack and then triple the damage. Same thing with him, triple the damage and triple the damage. So we've done well over 100,000 damage. We did about 110,000 damage without the Dimension Duels, guys. Just through a regular straight up duel with this deck, great, great stuff. Okay, yet another Dimension Duel. 
going second. We can go in second a lot. Maybe they always let you go second or something. Pretty interesting. So here we're starting with a Mahad and a Dark Magician with plenty of draw power. Our opponent's setting a Dark Monster. He's a little higher level, so he should have plays. Double Summon's perfect. We're going to Normal Summon a Dark Magician. Use our Wonder Wand on him. Use it as draw power. Now we're going to Normal Summon the Mahad. Put the Mage Power on the Mahad. And even set the Wonder Wand just to get our Mage Power a little more. It's up to 7k when he swings. He tripled the damage. Already almost up to 20k damage in one little swing. But look, his Evil Swarm gets rid of us. But that triggers Mahad's effect to bring a Dark Magician from the deck. Thinning our deck and keeping a monster on the field. Now we have a double summon, so we're going to use this Wonder Wand as even more draw power. We don't get another monster, but that's okay. We're going to use our Big Bang Shot on this Dark Magician, and just leave it at that. Swing for 8.7k, not too, too bad. Opponent sets a monster. Good thing we have the Big Bang Shot already. We pull another. We're going to use the Wonder Wand and just swing for the damage. 5.4k over another monster. So this is probably the best plays he's capable of making on these higher level bosses. He has forms of monster removal in his evil swarm, but uh, that's generally it. So we make a little animal play and uh, use our wonder wand to get rid of our dark magician, but it pays off. We get a Mahan special summon and a blue eyes normal summon. This way we already had a big bang shot. We can use it again on the Mahad. We're going to buff the Mahad with everything because usually those face down monsters are dark. It is not, it's a light, so its attack isn't going to double, but we still do 10k, plus another 10k. For 20k, we're getting him down there, guys. We have one more turn to go. 22k left. He started with about 76k. Here we're going to normal summon another blue eyes. Now Mahad, that's 13k. Blue eyes for an exact 9k, that's about a, I think that's still rank A, maybe rank B. No, I think it's rank A, but we finished that whole high level monster, 76k in one go, no dimension duel, great stuff guys. Okay, dimension duels, go in, I think he always goes second, I, I'm pretty sure there's no way I just always won second. There we start with the blue eyes and plenty of power, plenty of pierce, this is a dimension duel so we're out to do an insane amount of damage. We're going to start with the blue eyes. We're already up to 400, it caps out at 1000, but you really want to save the big, big damage for overkill. You don't want to use it just to end the duel quickly unless you're in some sort of hurry. But uh, we're going for fat, fat damage. So uh, that boy's effect does not work. Pretty good start for one turn. Still just setting a monster. We want to see more monsters, and we see exactly that with another blue eyes. So we're going to pierce that boy for tons of damage, 16k, 9k, he's whittling down to 1800 and we're going to save those skills guys for just massive overkill, like I keep saying overkill counts for the rank, doesn't count for the loot boxes but it counts for the rank, so we're using both our willpower risings here, we're going to finish the duel, because there it might have been hard to not finish the duel, it was a lot to avoid, but we're going to do it in such a way guys. We're not going to pierce the monster, we're going to destroy the monster with our measly 75k monster. We have 160k, that's about to be tripled guys. It's going to be nuts, but not quite tripled because our opponent summons a monster so he takes a little off it. But it's still 4,070, or what, 470,000, almost 480,000 in one swing guys. 520, about 530k, it's absolutely crazy stuff. Okay, so they give us a little animation for Dimension Duels, and obviously a brand new background. Gets rid of our sleeves and mats. Looks very cool. Or I guess not our sleeves. So here we have a Mahad and Dark Magician. Our opponent sets a Dark Monster, so we really want that Mahad out there. But we're gonna double summon our Dark Magician. So we can use him as draw power, and you're gaining points, you just need 500 to use your skill. They cap you at 1000, so we don't really use it till we go to 1000. Here we use our Dark Magician for draw power, like I said, that gives us a big bang shot for Mahad. His attack doubles when he fights Dark, and then the damage triples, guys, so we've already done a massive amount of damage. We need another Dark Magician. 
We're gonna hit this boy with Pierce. It's another dark monster, so they attack double 16k in just one swing. Attack on another 7. Things are looking really good so far. We're down to the third turn. I think this might be the duel with the biggest damage I have. Here he's going to get rid of our Mahad. But when Mahad's removed from the field, guys, you get a special summon a Dark Magician. We did it from the deck to thin our deck out a little more. Just to get some more power going. Here is a little bit of an animal play. We use our Wonder Wand. And we do use it for draw power. But that's our Blue Eyes and a Mage Power. Going to really help our damage go. We're going to set our double summons. We're going to hit him for 13k, then 7k. So we're just trailing him along. You want to get the life points as low as you can before you finish him. Had we used our skills, we would not have finished him. Or we would have finished him, and we wouldn't have gotten as many points as we could. So here we're going to use our double summon. Use another mage power on our huge blue eyes. We're going to swing to 18k. We're so close to finishing him, guys. My goal here is to get as close as we can, get his life points as low as we can before finishing him, and then overkill for a massive, massive amount. Because Konami counts the overkill for your rank. So for the loot, when it's determining the loot boxes, it's only going to count how many life points the thing had left, to be fair. But when it's talking about your rank, it counts the overkill, and boy are we going to hit him with a massive amount of overkill. So we can only use 10k more damage for the duels over, so we have to do it all in one swing, using willpower rising on both. Now, we also use beatdown. This boy is 15600, he's 63. So even if we doubled his attack fighting a dark mon or a dark monster, it wouldn't double. Here it's obviously a light monster, so it super wouldn't double. So we're swinging the blue eyes to the attack position monster. This massive amount of damage is about to triple, guys. So it's boom, that's 44,700 in one swing. The total damage is about five, 520,000, a little over that. So absolutely massive, five times the amount of rank S damage. Crazy, crazy stuff. Okay, Dimension Duels. Going second. So like I said, it just means you can normal summon big tricky monsters and they do massive amounts of damage and all that stuff. Our boy's little here, he only has 36k and very weak monsters, so it's gonna be a quick, quick duel. We get a double summon, so we're not gonna be scared to use our Dark Magician as draw power, and it pays off for us in top decking the Mahad. So the Mahad's able to come out. Now we double summon the Blue Eyes out. We're gonna put a big bang shot on the Mahad, because the lower levels have a lot of dark monsters, so we triple. Double his attack, triple his damage. We're almost done with the duel, but you gotta remember, whatever damage you do past the life points, it still counts towards your rank. It doesn't count towards your loot, but it counts towards your rank. So here we're just buffing up our Mahad for when that's a dark monster, even using beatdown. 4.4k, it doubles up to 8.8, .8, triple the damage for 25k damage, finish in one duel, and that was about a rank damage just from that little one alone with baby monsters, guys, so this deck will finish this event in one day, guys, and you'll just be chilling, waiting for Yugimoto. I think you're gonna have to put up S rank damage daily, the way it looks like the ranks go. You'll have to put up S rank damage daily to keep getting the rewards each day of the event, but it's gonna be no problem with this deck, guys, so I hope you have all the cards. They're kind of some old rare cards like that don't really see play, like Double Summon and Big Bang Shot, Stuff like that. Maybe you don't have that many Mahads, but uh, it's make it work, guys. Fill in the gaps with whatever you need, and it'll be successful. So uh, thanks for watching.